the hunt for a missing child in North Carolina. Ten-year-old Zara Baker, who at such a young age had already lost her left leg to cancer, was last seen by someone outside her family in September. Her stepmother, Elisa Baker, faces felony obstruction of justice charges in relation to this case. But that is only one of many complications facing North Carolina authorities. Tonight, Yunji Denise has our report. It began the way these stories sadly so often do. A missing little girl, her smiling face sent in Amber Alerts, and a father's desperate plea for help. I just hope I can get my daughter back. <laughs> I miss her so much. <laughs> but from the beginning, something didn't add up, and this husband seemed to implicate his wife. Do you think that your wife was any way involved in your daughter's disappearance? I'm not sure. I'd like to think no, because that's my wife. But until they've completed their investigation and can tell me some more, I can't honestly say. The couple told police they last saw their daughter Zara asleep in the early hours of Saturday morning. The next day at 2 o'clock, Baker says his that wife was, uh, panicked. Um, I came back to do some work in the yard with one of our pieces of equipment and her mom came running out telling me she was missing. Baker made this 911 call. It's a County 911. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. Yeah, I need police. And soon, police began searching the neighborhood. How'd she get lost? I'm not sure, buddy. That's what we're trying to figure out right now. They were worried because this is an especially vulnerable little girl. She's scared. She, she has these disabilities. Zara Baker survived two bouts of childhood cancer, but lost her left leg and her hearing in the process. This is her back in May, receiving hearing aids from a local charity. It sounds better than without them, so I can actually hear more than without my hearing aids. On Sunday morning, police arrested Zara's stepmother, Elisa Baker, on more than a dozen unrelated charges, most misdemeanors like writing bad checks and driving on bad tires. Investigators called her a person of interest in Zara's disappearance. Police appealed to the public for anyone who'd seen Zara any time within the last month. We are running out of time, folks. The longer this thing goes, the likelihood this outcome will not be positive. And the foot searches stopped. Are you basically saying you don't know where to look? What we're saying is we don't have a time frame to, to put this girl in that house. The family had moved to this house less than three months ago. Zara and her father had moved to North Carolina from Australia two years before that, after he met Elisa Baker online. Although Zara was homeschooled, many neighbors say they didn't even know a little girl lived there. Soon, former neighbors began to talk. I think there was more behind closed doors than what anybody knew. Do you think she was being abused? Oh, yeah. In what way? There was one incident where Zara's stepmother was whooping Zara and she broke her hand on her prosthetic leg. She'd come out and yell and scream at her and tell her she's gonna whip her if she didn't start walking and learning to run. And A family friend says this photograph shows bruising under Zara's eye to the left. She says Elisa Baker blamed the injury on her stepdaughter's clumsiness. That explanation was apparently nothing new. It's always she fell down or she rolled out of bed or she didn't have her leg on right and couldn't walk right and fail or it's always Zara's fault. Search warrants on the family home turned up a one million dollar ransom note addressed not to Zara's parents but to her father's boss. Police seized the couple's cars. They found possible blood in one and cadaver dogs found the presence of human remains in both. Elisa Baker admitted to writing that ransom note and the investigation took a grim turn. And the decision to focus this investigation from a missing child or abducted child will turn into a homicide investigation. Investigators have spent days at this work site where Zara's father, a tree trimmer, had access to heavy equipment. 
Cadaver Dog seemed to hit on a wood chipper, but nothing stuck. Throughout it all, Adam Baker has been here. He seems concerned. But, but you I don't, don't believe I don't him. know how sincere his concern is. But you don't, think it's you don't believe him. I don't. You understand the, what you're charged with? Zara's stepmother is charged with felony obstruction of justice for writing the ransom note. Her attorney says she told him she had nothing to do with Zara's disappearance. She's scared to death. Um, she's worried about if her family's out here, and she's still emotional. She's said little, but her MySpace page may be more telling. Blaring heavy metal music, she calls herself Miss Gothic Fairy. Zara's picture is there with the caption, The Dark Child, LOL. Amazing grace. The community held a vigil for Zara. We pray for her spirit. Amidst the prayers and candlelight, there was a sense of regret. I hope this will be the beginning of no one not speaking out when they see a child being hurt. Friends defended the extended family, saying several did call social services. And I just want everybody here to know that the family honestly tried. Elisa Baker's son was also in the crowd. You know, there are a lot of allegations of abuse. Do you want to say anything in your mother's defense? Uh, uh, you know, the, right now is not the appropriate time for that. You know, let, we need to let all the facts come out and, and go from there. He wouldn't say when he last saw his stepsister. What do you think happened to Zara? No comment on that right now, ma'am. Uh, I, I don't really want to get into specifics. Specifics are what investigators desperately need. Police have been back to the Baker's home, seizing more evidence. Zara's father looked on, saying little. Everybody knows more than I do at the moment. And so, for yet another night, this little girl is missing. I'm Yanji Denise for Nightline in Hickory, North Carolina.